Hello, this is Dear Damson, and today we are going to do a watercolor painting of a porcupine. Really cute, and also the painting is super easy, so anyone can do it. And I will start with a simple sketch. So I will run through the sketch, but I will have that traceable available on my Facebook page and you can find um, the link in the description below. So what we have here is an oval for the body. We have a V shape for the front of the cute face. We have V shapes upside down for ears. We have two little eyes, uh, which are ovals. And then I'm separating the top part, where's the uh, pointies, and then the bottom soft part, kind of right on eye level, but I'm creating a soft bend down. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a background. A lot of times I start with the main subject, but this time I decided to do the background so I know exactly how uh, much paint I'll use to pop this little guy out of our canvas. And I will not use tons and tons of brush strokes for um, the porcupine. I'm going to keep it really simple and, and elementary, but it's going to be a lot of a lot of fun and easy. So on the bottom, I'm adding a little bit of a darker color, and I'm adding more darker right underneath our little guy, and then with a wet brush, I'm kind of softening that edge, and then I'm gonna go back in and drop a little bit more color to that. So keeping it blue and fresh. Start with the bottom side and I'm adding tiny little almost like um, hairs. We're presenting hairs. My brush size is number six and I'm using only the tip of it. So I started a little bit more color like close to the bottom but you can see that white line between the ground and the porcupine. The reason why I'm leaving that there is because my ground is still wet and I don't want that color just start spreading around. So this is why I did that uh, little line of white. I think I'm rushing a little bit. If you have a little more time, let some areas dry before you go to them if they are very close to each other. So the top part, we have tons of needles but we only going to add few needles around the head few needles on the top of the body and on the back so we're kind of going to skip the middle part and what we're doing is we are creating an illusion more than giving every single detail to whoever is looking at our art so now my bottom is dry a little bit so i'm going to go back in and add a little more shadows and I move around my paintings a lot you don't have to but I do so the top part of the ear is exposed because they do have like a really fluffy nice face and I'm adding purple blackish purple right there also just um, kind of surrounding the head with a little bit more shadow and once I add a color somewhere I use that color to add it in a few other places so I call it marrying the picture together so that color is traveling around so it's not standing out and you see how I um, created a cloud in the areas that I will not have a lot of details very transparent cloud of paint. So the porcupine needles, they have a lighter beige, brownish and blackish in them. So I'm using those three colors, creating um, needles with that. So one needle is almost like um, striped, but I am not going to do this. I am just going to on those three colors and leave the 
person to their imagination, whoever is watching this. We can go in more, more into details when we're painting something like that, but in this case I just wanted to keep it really, really light. So right around the eyes I added a little bit more shadow and you see the V shape on the nose where the nose is starting and right in between the eyes how it's going a little down. So that area will be much darker than the, the forehead. color on that cute face same color goes around again marrying the picture together so I would I will travel around and it's not gonna stop somewhere So I'm not putting a lot of details on the legs either. They are there, but they are not um, drawn completely. When I was little, I had a porcupine for probably a month before I released it back. It was the cutest little thing. And there's a little bit of the beige, which is um, ochre mixed with brown for the top and middle. And also a little bit on the nose. So I decided the nose was a little bit too dark. So I picked up some of that paint with a clean wet brush. And pretty much that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to get notifications for my future videos. Thanks for watching. Bye!